Field residents are reeling from the discovery of seven burned bodies in the area and it's all believed that they were victims of a vigilante attack. While well, the community says it's shocked but not surprised as people have lost faith in the police. Community members are now calling for joint operations to deal with crime in the area and our reporter Ian Sears Mangawa Mkunu is on the ground joining me right now to give us more details around what happened out in Deep Sloot. And Mangawa, a very warm good morning to you colleague. I mean, a familiar area for you uh, to actually cover in as far as crime is concerned. But take us through the latest incident, this uh, alleged vigilante attack, uh, where we understand seven people were burned. Well, certainly, Dumelo, and this uh, happened all on Friday and the early hours of Saturday morning. And from what we understand is that uh, this was a group of criminals that uh, many here say were terrorizing uh, this particular community. Of course, it's a cry uh, that uh, Deep Suit residents have been uh, making for quite a number of months, uh, saying that they are at the mercy of criminals in this community. We saw quite a number of protests that had taken place here in this community over the very same issue of crime here. I think in June we saw what happened here in Deep Sloot when residents uh, took to the streets. They even went as far as the union buildings where they were hoping uh, to have an ear with the president, calling for the president to come uh, to this community to come and address some of the issues that they had been raising. And of course there were also uh, you know, reports that uh, there might be military uh, here in Deep Sloot. Uh, some residents saying that they had seen uh, military vehicles. They were hoping that that was an intervention that had come to the place, but uh, only to find out later that uh, that was not the case.